Hello, you and happy I'm back in action. This time we are going back in with you. Now I reacted to their Glitch Princess album, I think maybe a year, a year and a half ago now, if you want to check it out, it's on the channel. They have dropped a new album, Soft Scars. The Fallen Cuts will be on Patreon, as always, links down below. No idea what to expect, to be honest. I mean, I'm expecting some little bit of a weirdness, glitchy, little techno-y vibe with some cool little lyrics, some cool little vocals. But other than that, no idea. I haven't heard any of the lead singles. There's some very cool little track titles here, so I'm very keen to see what they've got for us this time around. As always, let me know what you think of the album as we go along in the comments below. But enough chit chat. The first song is XYX. Let's go. Little piano. Soft Scars, I love the line being used within the song. While it is the album title, it's not a song, so I love that that's in there, like Soft Scars on My Skin. So, I mean, I'm wondering if that's a reference to scars that you can get yourself. Love that though, just like I said, you definitely felt the emotion, the sadness, and that pain, the agony. Very keen to see where this is gonna go. I don't know, kind of like, yeah, like, I don't know, like conjured like my own little kind of sad thoughts within me. I like that. Next song, Sulky Baby. Let's go. I love like the piano and now like this little guitar. It's Definitely give me some 90s vibe. Like, 
like I said, such a 90s movie soundtrack vibe. Just like, do, 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 do. Lyrics absolutely there, relatable content. Just sad, like I said, you kind of got that from XWX and just, I guess this carries on. So I'm, I'm very keen for a theme like this, to be fair. There is a song called Soft Scars. I can't believe I missed it. So remove what I said before. <laughs> The next song is the title track, so this really should encompass everything the album has to offer us. Let's go. That production is just so nice, it's all crackling. coming off a sulky baby because that one I think is just gonna be a standout track from the album. This one nice again I like the lyrical content I love that just the flow through it's all very cohesive in terms of like just sadness and the relationships and life and hating yourself all that jazz all that nice fun stuff that we love to hear. <laughs> Like I said, a lot more techno-y, a bit more interesting, I guess. Like, you kind of like tuned in a bit more in terms like like the production. You wanted to hear like what the hell was going on. A lot going on, I think. Next song is U4I12. 12. U4I12, 12. 12, maybe. Let's go. <laughs> dehumanizing, romanticizing, all those drawn out vocals. But yeah, definitely there could be like a bit of more of a gender stuff, I guess. All the different ways you can manipulate that stuff. Maybe like she is him and her is me. Very much like you're the same person, I guess. Like just your expression, things like that. Possibly, I'm not sure. Let me know as always down below what you think of the songs or what they mean. If you know for sure what they mean. If you has said that anywhere, please let me know. Next song is Ghosts. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
through some stuff at the moment. I'm absolutely gonna send them this album and say they need to listen to it ASAP Rocky because I just think in terms of the lyrical content, the relatability, just that connectability, that numb feeling you can have, that void that you just feel that you're a part of or like crumbling under, you know, a falling sky. While the lyrics are heavy, I think this stuff is just the best when you're in those states, you just have something to hold on to. You know, in terms of like music, that's why I guess a lot of us love it. I mean, for me as well, like there's just so many times where music has been that thing that you can just connect to, hold on to, and it saved you so many times. Yeah, ghosts. I was thinking it throughout the album and that song just solidified for me. I will be sending it to her straight after this. Stunning, beautiful, everything. One of the best songs I've heard in a very long time. That is stunning, 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 stunning. Absolute standout track. Number six here, I'm probably number is English. The best song on the album, it's called Daisies. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus, those two back to back, absolute stunning. Just the mood, they just drain you of all your energy and just emotion and just you want to put all your emotion back into it. Stunning, just the production constantly being there was just so overwhelming, but in the best possible way. That strip back, the angels cry and cry. That's absolutely one of the best tracks on the album. Wow. Ghosts and Daisies, 
hands down, nothing will beat them and sulky baby to be fair. <laughs> Next song is Fish in the Pool. Let's go. So I mean like those classical sounds coming in and they just get like manipulated and warped and all that. You kinda need this just to like stop and just process everything you just gone through in the last two songs. Most of them roll into each other, they haven't all, but some have, so I'm wondering if they just all do it. Apple Music doesn't always do it perfectly. Very pretty, like I said, absolutely needed just to kind of like calm down and just, I guess, reconcile all the things within yourself that you just had brought up, like all your past traumas. Next song, software update. That's what we need, we need an update. We need to update our body, our mind, our soul from everything we've just gone through. Let's go. <laughs> Classic sounds and then the weirdness. vibe and just everything you think like all those deep thoughts in your head traumatized at 25 relatable content just all of that i love that like it sounded like you were programmed to say that back to me fix myself with a broken update all just perfection 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 such a beautiful sound and just so agonizing to listen to but the best stuff next song is inferno let's go <laughs> See what I mean? The sounds. Again, like it gives you a chance to breathe and like just catch your breath from everything. Little whispers. Oh, kind of give me Lord vibes here. Dream. Keeps coming up and they're rotten. Oh. 
think expected to finish that quickly. Yeah, it could have been longer. Wow, you just get so immersed in it. And just, like I said, the lyrical content is so relatable and just so hitting and agonizing to listen to, but it's so addictive. And yeah, you definitely feel like, I mean, you got that from the very first song. It's just amplified as the album's going on. Just the feelings and those emotions and the production just is like the carrier for it all. It's just so beautiful. Next song is Blood Bunny. Let's go. I love you so much so loving. I think a lot of the lyrics obviously have some real deep meaning, you know, to you. So it'd be, it'd be nice if there are stuff about the songs and what they mean. I don't know how deep they're going to go with it. I suppose if this stuff is quite personal, I guess you can kind of pass it off. It's just, oh, it's interpretation. But I don't know. I feel like there's some stuff that's happened that, you know, this album has really been able to let them release it out of it. Next song, Cyber Meat. Let's go. <laughs> confirmation just what I thought in software update or yeah I'm pretty sure it was in that one wow 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 like I said that is such a little pop rock song that could have just been so explosive but I loved the reserveness in it and just that like doof, like the, just the beat carrying through like I said the lyrics absolute such a flow you just wanted to sing them learn them just like rock out such an empowering song just really owning who you are and what you are and just yeah being true to you I love that that was stunning so good and then a little bit of an explosive towards the end absolutely just pop perfection absolutely a standout track so good wow 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 i'm so impressed by this album i'm shook i did not expect it to be this good not that i had low expectations i just really had none and i'm like what the hell this is incredible 
I love it. I wrote the last song, which sucks. It's called Aphex Twin Flame. Let's go. Let's go. Let's wrap it up. Oh. Hey, cute abstract one for me in terms of just like I guess connectability and just what it's about didn't expect it to end like that I would probably say it's my least favorite song on the album which is obviously a nitpick because you can obviously still just vibe it and listen that's very nice I just think very hard when you come after side of me again we have such a song that hits you and the next song isn't as hitting it's always a bit hard there but what an album it's a non-skip album that's pure even that last song I'd still listen to it again but wow wow sulky baby ghosts daisies cyber meat absolute four of the absolute best on the album the first three obviously incredible ghost daisies take it out i'd say ghost is my favorite on the album but everything else beautiful stunning oh my god one of the best albums of the year absolutely i think this will make my top 10 i want to listen to this all day incredible incredible like i said i did not expect it to affect me so much and just i love the way they write it's just so like list driven but just like thoughts it's just like this is my thought this is my thought this is my thought and while they may not all connect it just works so well it so seamlessly flows through production across the board incredible like i said the mixture of classic and then this weirdness glitchy techno vibe that was throughout the whole album as well was just so spot on and then everything just everything it's incredible i love it absolutely one of the best albums of the year what do you guys think let me know down below pretty shook pretty speechless other than what everything i've just said <laughs> throughout the album yeah wow Incredible, incredible, incredible. So glad I got onto it. Ball and Cast is always on Patreon. Links are down below if you want to follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. You can find it down there. Hope you're gonna be back.